People have come to northwest Alberta from all over the world to study the rich fossil deposits. One of these recent researchers was Federico Fanti. So I am uh, Federico Fanti. I am from the University of Bologna, Italy. And I came here from starting in 2004 <clears throat> for studying the paleontological and geological resources in the Grand Prairie area. Okay. My entire background is in geology and sedimentary geology. I took my master at the University of Bologna in Italy, where I'm still studying. And for the master thesis, I came to Dinosaur Park and Royal Terrain Museum to study dinosaurs, specifically flesh eater dinosaurs. And then uh, while I was uh, there for the summer I came up here and I found out that uh, there were a lot of bones, a lot of dinosaurs and very few things known about what was surrounding these dinosaurs. So I thought there was enough unknown material for a PhD research and then I decided from the University of Bologna to come here in the last three years for the PhD thesis. And in spite of the fact I started focusing on the bone beds and the fossil localities, tried to put them on a stratigraphic context, then every single day I found something new, some new information about the geology and the environment, so I kind of um, expanded the field, not just for uh, the true locality I came here originally, but from several localities that turned out in the last three years, and there are still fossils coming out every day. Every day we're going, we're going in the field, we're finding something new. And therefore there is space for new discoveries and new information for what I'm looking for, actually. Uh, I came here because of large bone beds and dinosaurs the first time. I was joining a fellow from uh, the Turan Museum that was actually coming here to prospect and collect more uh, dinosaur bones. But I found out that not much was known of the surrounding area. So many information about two single localities, but nothing of the surrounding rocks and environments. So I decided to invest more time and come back here trying to find out more information about this stuff. And since my entire background is in geology and sedimentary geology, I thought I could give some more information about the environment, so how this uh, area, the Grand Prairie area, looked about 70, 74, 80 million years ago. Definitely from a scientific point of view and a working point of view, it's completely different. First of all, in Italy we have very few specimens and very few dinosaurs, while here there are places where you can actually walk on fragments of dinosaur bones. So it's something shocking at first. And then you realize that it's not just finding dinosaurs, but what is beneath it. And the people working around, the laboratories, the facilities, and that makes actually the, the difference from other places uh, all over the world, because you can collect tons of dinosaur bones and dinosaur material, but then you have a place where to store them, and especially to study and describe them. And if you are missing this background, there's nothing you can do for us. You are going to the same spot, for example, and you think you are going to find more or less what you found the day before. And then something you are not expecting is coming out, uh, another tooth or a bone or a species that it was not supposed to be there. And then you realize perhaps there is something more. And every day this is some sort of challenge for you and uh, it you know, makes you feel absolutely great. No doubt about it. The dinosaur research Federico has done in the Peace Region has helped shape his plans for the future. Some plan for the future, well for the near future definitely uh, publish uh, papers on what I found out in the last three years and it will focus entirely on the Wapiti formation and the dinosaur from the Grand Prairie area and this will be you know the last step of the PhD project. Um, since I started to work on dinosaurs, I've been lucky enough to see some of the most important fossil localities in the world, like Western uh, Canada, some place in the US, and Southern Mongolia. And during the last three years, I realized that what I like to do is combining fossils and rocks in order to have a larger picture. I'm a fan of large pictures. So I, what I try to do is put the dinosaurs into an environment and have a larger image of what, 
was going on at a specific time interval. After that, I definitely like to, to be in the field during the summer. And from my point of view, what I like to do is also trying to transmit this kind of information I'm collecting during the summer to other people. So teaching somehow, or in any case, be related to that part of science that match between uh, discovery and uh, public understanding. So transforming what is the scientific language into something that is available for everybody from the kids to you know normal people and this is not as easy as it seems usually because it takes a big effort to try to join all this information and make them available for everybody.